hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials actually this one is the photoshop and lightroom tutorial just because of i want to provide you the xmp file which is the preset file for uh, these two softwares or platform you can use over there and i'll discuss what i have done to make this type of effects and what will be the settings and i want to show you what is the process to give the color or uh, bring the color in your photographs so if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification let's jump into the tutorial so i downloaded uh, photos from the unsplash.com from the jacob the photographer uh special thanks to him uh, so i got uh, some pictures which is uh, the consistent pictures like that the girl is taking the fuel from the petrol pump and uh, the rough type uh, surface and the yellowish tone which is very helpful to make my preset so after that i imported that photo and i'll provide the photo download link in my video description for your practice purpose and uh, you will get the download link of the preset in my video description so please check it out select this one the main layer press ctrl or command j i'm taking the backup purpose layer and i'll edit this one so edit that okay after that go to the filter and camera filter by the way i'm using the photoshop 2021 and the camera row, that is the 13.0 and these two updates if you need please check out my video description i'll provide the both things that means camera 13.0 and photoshop 2021 download link in my video description and from here you will get the smallest uh, menu which is the uh, three dots and go to the load settings options and i given the name which is the cinematic brown cinematic tone in the xmp file and load it up so you are getting like that which is the really cinematic uh, format in the photographs that means you are getting the tone which is the cinematic tone now what i have done in this portion and all the stuffs like that before that i want to introduce the camera 13.0 those who are the new user of the 13.0 so here the basic curves detail color mixture color grading optics geometry effects and calibration so basic panel i just made the white down that is minus 28 and everything temperature and tint that is zero percent and then after that curves so i made the curves like that here the rgb tone and uh, three uh, points actually and here only red only green and only blue and this portion i just uh, pointed out and made the curve like that so input value 255 and output value that is 253 and input value 191 output value 169 and input value 100 and output value 90 and here input value 27 and output value 40 and input value 0 and output value that is the 28 and no other value i just defined over there and detail option no sharpening or other steps if you need you can sharp your make the sharpening your image or you can reduce the noise but uh, in this photo i just uh, didn't use the, the noise reduction just because of the noise is making the more cinematic look in these photographs you know that the rough type uh, like uh, cinema which is uh, like torque just uh, watch that cinema torque you're getting the this type of tone over there and here the color mixture this is the vital point to edit your photographs just because of here is all the stuffs about the color hue the which color will be saturation percentage of the color and luminance the intensity of the color that means hue you are getting all the types of color that means the tone of the color and in this portion i'm just made the blue which is uh, like plus 32 value and the saturation which is the percentage of the color that means red percentage 25 and uh, orange per percentage that is 54 yellow plus 18 green plus 20 aqua plus uh, 14 and blues that is plus 13 and purples plus 24 and magenta plus 25 and the luminance that is the intensity of the color i made the orange luminance down just because of the uh, dim type tone and the blue i made it up for the sky uh, if you get the full sky over there i'll discuss that photo which has a, a full sky and that's why i made the luminance that means the intensity of the color plus 25 that's good color grading options here are three portion that is the uh, shadow mid-tone and highlight shadow this portion which is literally black that is the shadow portion and the mid-tone which is uh, partially black or like non-lighted 
that is the mid tone and highlighted portion all the enlightened portion as are the highlighted portion so this color grading is easier to understand just because of if you understand the three things the shadow highlight and mid tone shadow means darker portion and the mid tone means the partial darker portion and the highlight is the all in a light so which color will be and that three things on that three things you are getting three colors that is the color grading that means if you give color in the shadow you are getting the shadow color in this portion i am just picking up the color that is value 311 and saturation 18 percent that means when you are giving the value 311 it uh, providing you the color and the saturation that is the percentage how percentage will be the color if you make it like this it will be pink type but i made the moderated percentage which is 18 in the shadow portion and now the mid-tone portion in this portion you are getting the mid-tone in the, under the uh, like chin and in this portion you are getting the little bit uh, uh, like uh, greenish and the saturation that is 17 and the hue 85 in the highlight portion you are getting a little bit uh, blue type and uh, like uh, foster blue and foster green actually uh, and the color code is 143 from the color belt and the saturation 15 done the color grading now optics i didn't use that the geometry i didn't use that effects i didn't use if you need you can add some vignetting if you require to add over there and the calibration from here three primary colors red green and blue so red portion i made the hue value that is minus 10 and the saturation plus 25 and that's all for these settings and hit the ok button you're getting the hues change the before if you go to the before and after so now uh, i what i have told um, uh, the full sky in this photo and one thing is that uh, if need any kind of mock-up from there or uh, uh, the object mock-up or creative uh, mock-up or like uh, everything else so you can download from yellow mock-up from here uh, it's uh, really good and uh, the most creative thing is that the font which is really amazing for my uh, font and uh, 360 images if you need um, creative people always need these type of things so i'll provide the link you will get the 90 percent off from there i'll provide you the link to download from there so this photo has a, a larger sky portion you now which is uh, able to understand you to you know which color will be in the sky press ctrl or command j so going to the filter and camera filter again i'm repeating that i'm using the camera filter 13.0 and which is similar to the lightroom and if you have the xmp file you can use that xmp file into your lightroom so here from here load settings options and that preset brown cinematic and load it up and you are getting the color of the sky like that that means like moody type um, the cinematic uh, so all the stuffs in the uh, like uh, cylinder of the fuel and the tracks and the dress up and the dust everything is cinematic look hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and and find the all the stuffs resource file in my video description thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well bye bye